After I was given the original uh, cover brief from Joe and the editor Bob, um, I started playing around with different type treatments, um, different typefaces and layout. We originally decided on having like a big 200 on the cover, uh, but then later on decided that we'd go for something along the more typographic route. So I started coming up with designs and gradually feeding them over to Jo and she'd work them up on an InDesign template. Because of the number of finishes we chose, we had to supply the cover as many different single PDFs. We have a fifth colour, a black foil, a textured black foil, a gold, an emboss, plus a spot UV. So it required extensive artworking and checking with the finishers. We worked closely with Cellar Glass to make sure we got the best results. Cellar Glass is the UK's leading print finisher. We have three sites, Leicester, Reading and, and Hunslet. And Cellar Glass actually um, has an array of print finishes, decorative print finishes, um, like Spot UV or lamination or foiling. And we're really focused on innovation and developing new products. Traditionally in the past, we've actually mainly worked with printers, but more recently we've been working with designers directly, as well as printers. And this enables us to um, have input at the beginning of the design and we can suggest new finishes or how to get the best out of the result out of the design. And sometimes we even offer like a proof so that the designer is happy with what they're going to get at the end of the result. We've used a number of finishes on this particular cover and as you saw today in the factory, there's loads of guys in there we're all working together. Um, I think there was like four machines running and so one guy would actually uh, apply his finish and then the next guy along would line up his, the next finish along and there's several passes on the foil and, and then a spot UV as well and um, the spot UV was actually one of the last um, finishes just before the, the gold emboss. And this is the finished article and visually it looks great but when you pick it up and look more closely you can see that the black foil is actually textured. The tea here may look similar to this area here but actually when you feel it there's a texture uh, which is created by the foil and some of the white is actually coming through from the paper whereas this, te this actual textured look is um, printed so it feels completely different. It has a spot UV over it and this one is a textured foil. And finally we emboss the gold foil to give it a lovely stamp effect which also looks like a seal of approval. <laughs>